Hello everybody, this is Tam and I'm coming to you Super Bowl weekend. It's Friday and I tell y'all I was coming with another video. Yeah, peep, I got this shirt on to celebrate the Super Bowl. Um, just gonna get into that real brief. Um, who I got in the Super Bowl? I like the Giants in the Super Bowl, but you never know because Tom Brady has a lot to avenge. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on coming up this weekend. So good luck to both teams. And I hope it'd be very entertaining. I don't like blowout Super Bowl, so yeah, I hope it gets better this time around. Um, well, the other day I was watching ESPNU, and they had the National Signing Day, of course, which was on my birthday. And oh, again, thanks to everyone that wished me happy birthday for my birthday, and I really appreciate it. The text, the calls, and everything. I love y'all. Thanks. And um, you made an old girl feel special. Thank you. Um, back to National Signing Day. Um, I <laughs> It was like a 10-hour event. 10, almost 12-hour event. This is my thing about that. These young guys, when they do things like that, it kind of gives them a sense of celebrity. Yeah, they done good in high school and things. You really haven't done anything yet. And let truth be told that a lot of these guys that are like these top 150s or whatever, or like these five-star recruits or whatever, end up being more like a, not the star, like a bust, you know. Because truth be told, recruits, lower recruits such as Jason Pierre-Paul and other recruits like that, and they don't, they end up being great. In the NFL and the other guys, they end up being kind of like busts. I, I haven't went back and done the research on that, but there's a couple of them I know, like personally, that I watched sign and they didn't. They got all these accolades and ranked in the nation, and then when they got to college, they didn't quite cut it. And some of them didn't even get drafted in the, in the NFL, so that's something to think about as well. But I just think it's just a big old hoopla about nothing, <laughs> basically. Um. Back to the Super Bowl, I'm kind of irritated because the focus is not really on the teams. It's what's going on mostly about what's going on between Ursay and Peyton. And I think it's not fair to Eli, personally. Um, so I really need for Peyton to have a seat, him and Ursay. Just say, like I said before in my last video, no comment. Go somewhere, sit down. I can understand it's in Indy, but this doesn't need to be the main story. The main story need to be about who's who with the Patriots and the Giants. That's it. And I don't know. It's kind of like, in a way, I think Peyton kind of likes it. I mean, who knows? But this is not going to end well. It's not going to end well because... I can't really blame Ursay for not wanting to invest $28 million, but you got to also understand Ursay, Peyton built your house. So think about that. Um, would I give money merely out of loyalty? It depends. I mean, he made the franchise relevant, you know, and, you know, you had to get some fans back in there because that debacle your dad did in Baltimore didn't sit well with everybody. So I guess... My thing is, you know, y'all come to terms. Because, like I said, this is not going to end well for anybody. And nobody's going to really come out looking, like, squeaky clean. And for those doctors that say that he's clear, yeah, he might be clear to play until he get hit. Think about it. Um, I have a little something to address. Um, I put a post in my group about the Pacquiao Mayweather fight and how it's not going to take place, period. Um, some people side with Mayweather, some people side with Pacquiao. And I see both sides. And I don't understand. If both of them really want to make this happen, both sides, they can make it happen. Because... I don't see why Mayweather should have such a sense of a time because personally I feel a lot of people are going to get, you know, get the fight to see Pacquiao beat Mayweather and 
vice versa. But I think it's going to be more of people want to see Pacquiao take Mayweather out because of his reputation, personally. Um, I'm a fan of boxing, but when stuff like this comes up, it makes me like the MMA a little bit more because it's really ridiculous to keep going back and forth, back and forth about testing and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And for the <laughs> the comment that was made that Sugar Shane and uh, who's the other guy? Well, Sugar Shane and whoever else who they agreed to pay, um, made with the terms. They got to come to agreement, but personally, being honest, I don't even think this thing is going to happen. So I'm not going to hold my breath for it. And I suggest you don't do the same. Because there's a lot of egos involved. And I think there's too many people involved. Especially when it becomes between Aaron and Mayweather's camp. It's a lot of bad blood in there. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, Listen to my local sports <laughs> talk radio uh, again this morning. And they were talking about Cam. And how Cam is like really like on a lot of national stuff and he doesn't really do like local stuff here, like interviews or whatever. First of all, when Cam was drafted here, a lot of people didn't like it. I didn't like it either. Um, because I wanted Patrick Peterson, because I felt like well, Panthers need a little bit of everything, but I think with Patrick Peterson being a kick returner and thing, you get like three and one. And Cam came, and he proved me wrong, and I'm happy about it. Now they sitting up here talking about Cam doing national stuff, and Cam, you know, won't talk to local media. A lot of y'all were rude, I'm just being honest. A lot of you guys were rude when he got picked. And and also, you got to understand, he has a Gatorade contract. And with the Gatorade contract, that looks good for the Panthers. It put the Panthers on the map. Um, also... Charlotte used to, especially in the basketball sector, Charlotte used to be like really big up there because we had Larry Johnson, Lonzo Mourning, when we were the Hornets. And okay, Larry did grow my mom. Nobody seemed to have a problem with that, you know. And I don't know. I don't see what the problem is. I think it's a lot boils down to it's the man that they don't like. I don't think they don't like what he's doing. I just think they just don't like the guy. But Cam, keep doing what you're doing, and congratulations on your endorsement from Gatorade. Go and make that money. I ain't mad at you, bro. Make that money. Um, also, I want to discuss um, a little bit of NBA. Um, and tell Dwight Howard, um, can you be quiet again? Thank you. Nobody want to hear what you got to say. Now you tell me you want to go to the Bulls. Please, if you just, just just leave. I think at the All Star break, I think a lot of stuff about to shake down. After the All Star break, personally, between him and Orlando, because I think he kind of like sticking it out because he don't want to get booed or whatever. But um, I think gonna get booed anyway, personally. But um, I think he don't want it to look bad on the franchise or whatever. And well, if you're ready to lead the franchise, it looks bad anyway. So go figure. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, shout out. The Sixers are doing well. Boston's trying to get a little run going. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see when Rondo comes back. I think he comes back tonight. We'll see, um, how they play with Rondo. But Avery been holding it down. Um, OKC, they're holding it down as well. And since we're on OKC, the Blake Griffin, the infamous Blake Griffin dunk. Yes, the dunk was decent, but it wasn't Sean Kempish. And if you don't know how, who Sean Kemp is, Google him. He's like one of my greatest power dunkers i ever seen. Uh, between him and I like Vince Carter as well. And and right, right now, I like Iguodala when he's a power dunker. Um, yeah, so check him out. Sean Kemp got some dunks that I made. Blake Griffin don't look like a hot mess, basically. Um, there's not too much else to discuss. Oh, let me do my condolences to the family of Don Cornelius. As a little girl, on Saturdays, I used to get him to watch Soul Train. Um, Soul Train was a great mark 
for, you know, R&B music, soul music. Um, he paved the way for a lot of artists such as Tina Turner, Aretha Franklin, James Brown, Al Green, you name it, he did it. So I want to send condolences to his family. Um, suicide is sad. It's very sad. And um, I don't know what could contribute. As obviously something was going on there that he felt like I want to end it all. But <laughs> I just tell people suicide is not the answer. Because you've done a permanent, pro a permanent thing to end a temporary problem. And I hate to end such on a somber note, but this, I really don't have nothing. I'll be back on Monday, hopefully for Motivational Monday. And I'll probably do a video early next week instead of doing it later. And we'll talk about Super Bowl. I'm not going to wait till Friday. I'll probably do one like Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see. Um, leave your comments below, please. Subscribe. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. Please subscribe. Um... To share on your Facebook page. You can share on any website you like and tell everybody about me. I'm trying to get more people to come on in. Um, you can join our group on Facebook. It's, it's all about sports. And you can friend me under Facebook um, slash cute trail. So that's about it. Um, that's my show for today. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you on Monday. And everyone, enjoy the Super Bowl. I was going to do Block TV, but I changed my mind. Because um, I might be napping <laughs> during a halftime show. I don't want y'all to see that. But just let me know if you want me to do it. I'll try to do it. But if y'all see me napping, you'll have to watch me nap. But anyway, have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. And go Giants. Embrace progress. Diva out. One.